Hallelujah. Proverbs 22, verse 1. Everybody got it? Say amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 1. Anger. Anger. We all got that in common. Yeah, I'm one. <laughs> oh, Proverbs 22, verse 1. Glory be to God. I mean, yes, Proverbs 22 and verse 1. Oh my God. Glory be to God. Go ahead, Sister Paula. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. Mm -hmm. Loving favor rather than silver and gold. Mm. A good name. A good name. Yes. A good name. I don't give you a good name. No. When, when you manifest anger, that take the good name. And they just call you an angry person. Yes. And nobody want to be around you. Because <clears throat> anything make you angry. Uh. Proverbs 16, voice, voice 30, 32. Go ahead. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty. You hear that? <clears throat> he who is slow to anger is better than the mighty. That means that they, you, you don't get angry quick. You're slow to anger. You're better than the mighty. A person that have might power, <clears throat> you're more greater than them. Because you're slow to anger. Amen. And he who rules his spirit, then he who takes the city. Amen. You see, when you when you can rule your spirit, you can overcome a city. When you can control the anger, when you control when you can control the anger, you are greater than a person that has power. Amen. When you can control your anger. Let's go to Ephesians 4, verse 26 and 27. Ephesians 4, verse 26 and 27. that my anger must be controlled by the Holy Ghost. Amen. If I'm not going to sin. Amen. He says, be angry and sin not. Amen. Because do you know when you're angry, things that's come out of your mouth, things yeah. come in your head, and you just say it. Amen. Right? You have no control over it. It just come out of But he says, be angry and sin not. Don't sin. So that means that the only way to control that anger is by the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the only way. The only way we can control that anger is by the power of the Holy Ghost. If there be no power of the Holy Ghost, you can never, you can, you will be angry. You will sin. Go ahead. Don't go to bed with that anger. Don't you go to bed with that anger. If you angry with somebody, you get it right before you go to bed. Amen. Where you have to repent, where they have to, you get it right for your sake. See, the problem is, we will not repent if you don't repent. 
I'm not under poor repent. You will repent. Why I need to repent? He was him that started. So one. She did it. <laughs> I just respond back. Either way, part of you all, if this side don't repent, you repent for peace sake. Amen. That's true. For peace sake. See, when you repent, you close that door. Amen. Because once you get once you are angry. And and, 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 and and if the person do acknowledge that they was wrong, just leave that leave them alone. You go before God, Father, I repent. I should not behave the way I behave. Father God, that is not Christ like. Please forgive me. Amen. Amen. Close the door of on anger. Because if you don't repent, you open doors for anger. What, what it says next? Don't let the sun go down. Go to, don't go to bed with it. Amen. Do you know when you go to bed with anger, you wake up with anger? Yes. Amen. You wake up really mad and tired. Mm -hmm. oh, you see, you with a headache. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Really angry. Because why? You went to bed angry. And you wake up in the... And now you experience the, 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 the signs of anger. Yeah. You know? And, and, and saints, I'm telling you, anger can cause some serious, serious sickness Amen. to your body. Amen. Anger can cause heart disease. Amen. Anger. It is negative energy builds up in. It's like something if you're holding it and I just want to let it on. Sometimes when you don't repent, when you don't repent, and, and any little thing, any little thing. Any little thing someone do, if someone just come and just go like this, you ain't explode. Why he touch me? See, that was in the process. That, see, that didn't happen. She was carrying that. Yeah. I was waiting for somebody <laughs> to touch or rub me wrong. Then they explode. And after you explode, guess what the devil does? After you say what you say, then what you say ain't nice. <laughs> then now, when you calm down, then now the devil look at look at you. <laughs> look at you. You you were supposed to be a Christian. Uh, you 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 are Christian and, and look at and look what you allowed to come out of your mouth. Look how you was acting. Front of the people, everybody see you. <laughs> what you can do now? You might as well just go all the way. What you can do? Repent. You repent, God will God will change you, but then you have to ask God, you have to go ask God to deliver me from that spirit of anger. Deliver me from anger. Now, when we talk about anger, anger, anger can be influenced by spirits. Yes. Demonic spirits can influence a person to get angry. Yes. Do you know when a person is angry and you are angry and angry around, mm -hmm. there is a, you are opening the door for a spirit of murder. Yes. Because anger and the spirit of murder, they are connected. Yes. That's why when, when a person is angry yes. and, and they're fighting, they can literally kill. Yes, yes. They can literally kill. Yes. And when they kill, you hear them say, something is happening, and I black out. That's true. That's true. And then you wake up. You black out, and then that will bring you right back. You wake up, and now you see. Lifetime. Or the death penalty. Yes, that's true. Perhaps. You see? Yes. That's why. The Bible says that get angry and sin not and let not the sun go down on your rock. Need to give place to the devil. Need to give place. See, you giving the place to the devil. In other words, you are literally opening the door for anger. When you get angry, you open the door for the devil. You say, look here, devil. Come on. Come on. Come in. Come in there. Come in. Come in. You open the door. And the door stay open, you know. And tell you repent, that door stay open. 
That's why you get angry so, so easily. Because you ain't closing the door. Amen. You need to repent to close the door. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Say, do let the sun go down on your ride. Repent. Lord, this ain't getting good. Lord, this anger. You know what? Look at Moses. You remember Moses? God had a promise for Moses. Moses is supposed to take the people of God into the promised land. But Moses didn't know that he had something in him that disqualified him from entering into the promised land. And that was anger. Yeah. The first time the anger showed up in Moses is when Moses killed the Egyptian. I told you anger and murder. Yeah. They go hand to hand. Yes. Moses killed the Egypt. And the second time is when Moses smite the rock mm -hmm. and say, Drink, ye rebels. That's an angry man. And God and God dealt with Moses because of that. God dealt with Moses because of that. God tell Moses, say, look here, you will not enter into the promised land. You will not enter into the promised land. And Moses did not enter into the promised land. Because why? God disqualified Moses from entering into the promised land. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So now just deal with anger. Oh God. Jesus. Let's go to Psalms. 37 and verse 8. Psalm chapter 37, verse 8. If you come here. Psalm 37, verse 8. Say, come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Psalm 37, verse 8. If you have the scripture, say amen. Righteousness of God. Amen. So so we're gonna amen. So we're gonna hold our we're gonna hold our peace. You see, see, people might think you well, well, oh he's a he's a chicken. No. She's a chicken. She's scary. No, you got wisdom. You ain't scary. You got wisdom. Amen. A Christian who act this the Christian who this behave this way. Amen. You you say it. Do not fret, it only causes harm. You hear that? Oh, you hear that? And do not fret. Yeah. So we like fret up. Just fret. Oh, what about this? Oh, Jesus. You ever fret? You fret so much? 
And you Amen. And your head is under it. Yeah. And you put your head down. Yeah, that's and then you start thinking. Mm. Then you go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you like you can blow it out. You don't blow it out. That don't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. That is right there. You have to begin to acknowledge and deal with that. You got to deal with that anger. You got to deal with it. Somebody say deal with that anger. Deal with that anger. Amen. Yeah. I, I, anger, anger, when a person is, is, is angry, a person is literally is full. A lot of times that it because of bitterness, because of of, of, of things what happened in the past yeah. and they did not close the door they did not forgive they did, and so they carry that anger with them and they just becomes they are, they are good people they are good people but they open up themselves for the spirit of anger they are good people yeah. if they can get delivered from anger they will be the nicest and kindest person yeah. you will never want to see I'm telling you yes yeah. It is anger that, uh, that caused a lot of people to misbehave the way they misbehave. Yes. It's anger. And behalf of that, uh, and, and behind, of the, uh, behind that anger, there is hurt, yeah. there is rejection, yeah. there is bitterness, yeah. and all of that. The I devil will continue to keep that person tied up in that, and so that person will not get delivered. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. And then we go around saying, so, oh, that man is an uh, angry man. But we don't know what caused that man to be an angry man. We don't know what that. We don't know what happened when he was a child. Amen. He can be carrying stuff. Amen. In his past. Yes. And don't know how to let it go. Amen. And true past. Amen. So David, David talks about anger. Read that again. Seize from anger. Seize from anger. No, my God, Amen. Go ahead. Do not fret; it only causes harm. Do not fret; it causes harm to your body. It will fret. It will bring uh, sickness, disease in your body. Amen. I'm telling you, God got it. God got a solution for everything. Amen. Why are you you trying to take some medication that is going to make it worse? Just get the word. Amen. And if the doctor say three times daily, take the word seven times daily. daily. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it and read it and read it and apply it and apply it on you. Amen. Until you become what the word say. Amen. Until you become what the word say. Amen. 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 I remember many years ago, my wife, she's weak. I mean, weak every day. Every day she can't wait. We can it doesn't matter what, what iron, what vitamin, what doctor we That's go true. to. Nobody can find anything. I did this one experiment, giving a medication after medication. I said, the devil is a liar. Yeah. I said, why are you giving a medication and ain't working? Amen. That means you're using it for a scapegoat. Amen. You know, you're trying this one, trying that one. I said, no. No. No, no more medication. No more. I said, let me go to the word. Amen. Let me go to the word. When the voice kings where where Elijah did. Y'all remember? When Elijah did who? Nima the leper. In the dirty water of Jordan. Seven times. I say, Father, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna dip my wife in the water seven times. Hallelujah. And that's sick, that weakness, wherever it is, will go. Amen. I said this Bible truth. Yeah, it's, uh, Amen. The Bible said the word of God is the same yesterday, the day forever. So if it worked back then, it worked right now. Uh, Amen. Amen. We went not get it. We went there. I didn't go on seven Sunday. God has said we dip us seven times. So he did us funny. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Whoa. Energy come back. Thank you, Jesus. Strength come back. Amen. And she went back to her appointment. God said, Oh my, you looking good. You, you Amen. What, what did you do? Jesus did it. Amen. Jesus did it. He must he must have told me and say, 
order the medication no. to give us. No. No. <laughs> no, he don't medication. Jesus did it. I'm not saying you must not take your medication to do it. I'm not saying it. I leave that for you. I'm not going to tell you, don't take your medication. Just believe in Jesus. I'm not going to tell you that. Amen. That's my faith. That ain't your faith. Amen. And until your faith gets to that level, then you'll know what to do. Amen. If you're taking something that ain't making you well, but it's making you worse, then you'll know what to do. Amen. I know what to do. If I take something that makes me bad, I ain't going to take it no more. Amen. <laughs> yes, sir. I ain't gonna take it. Why should I take it? It ain't working. Thank you. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, so anger. Anger is negative energy. Amen. It is serious. Anger is serious. Amen. Let's go to uh, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 19. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Proverbs 19, 19. My God, thank you. Go ahead, read. A man of great wrath will suffer punishment. You hear that? A man of great wrath will suffer what? Punishment. So when you are great wrath, you will suffer what? Punishment. punishment. You bring it upon yourself. It ain't a devil. You bring it upon yourself. Proverbs 19, 19. Go ahead. For if you rescue him, you will have to do it again. Oh, you hear that? So I'm bringing him out. If I'm bringing him out, I got to do it over and over and over again. That's what it says. <laughs> you can do it again and again. And again. Amen. Great ride. Great ride. Someone say great ride. Yeah. Say, say, this, the influence of anger, the influence of anger will not influence me. Will not influence me. For the Bible declare, the Bible declare that anger, and anger dwell in the heart, in the heart of a fool. And a fool. And I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. In Jesus' name. Jesus. So don't let anger live in you. Amen. Anger only live in the heart of a fool. Don't let anger live in you. You're not a fool. Don't let anger live in you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.